Hello guys and welcome to the fourth episode of uh, the France campaign here in Empire Total War. So in the last episode our sort of rather peaceful, well not peaceful, but uh, you know rather simple and easy little period uh, came to an end because the British decided to invade. Uh, well, they decided to go to war, they haven't really invaded yet, but uh, their army is on the coastline and uh, I very much, I don't really know why they haven't really, you know, landed yet. guess the fact that I left one ship here might have something to do with it, they couldn't just swoop in and land that way, but they could have gone over here, so I don't know, who knows. Yeah, these ports are most likely just going to get wrecked, uh, although actually... I'm actually going to take you and put him there. Probably wouldn't be too dumb actually to have another unit stationed. Let's just take some of these more sacrificable units. So we'll have units in each of those things. But, and I think that means they, they cannot like go into the ports, which is going to make it uh, more difficult for them to land their army. Well, that's the idea anyways. Uh, so yeah, we were also thinking about what we want to do here in the new world. Well, we don't have any money, so there's nothing to do right now, really. So, I don't know, I think we're just gonna have to end the turn. And uh, pray that shit does not uh, go to hell. Please, Britain, please do not make shit go to hell. Alright, let's see this. So they have one epically... well, it's not a doom stack, but it's a doom something. Alright, so they decided to land over there, which was stupid of them. Or not. Oh, okay, no, they, they didn't quite get to Paris, but they are f they are frighteningly close, so... Uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see if we can defend that place. Alright, agent detected, who? So someone tried to... I, I don't know, doesn't matter. Yeah, so the people in the Netherlands are angry. That is... Uh, well, it's not understandable. It's not like I declared the war. Monsieur. Anyways, yeah, I think I'm gonna get a general here actually, even if it does cost me a bit. Uh, should boost that army. So I don't know. Yeah, let's get yeah get you in. And can you go all the way? Yes. So even if that's not a lot of dudes, I will send him over. And we'll get another derp. Yeah, well, well, we'll start with reinforcing all of these guys. Um, like, I don't know. You horsey, you travel over there. Let's tear this down and let's get a um, church thing built instead. So yeah, the, the English will most likely just attack us next turn. I think we have enough units to deal, to deal with them. Uh, we don't have any artillery though, which is definitely a big problem. Alright, so we'll get this army. I don't know, can we just place it in the forest maybe? Because this army does have artillery, but it sadly cannot get all the way. Well, actually, the general probably could have, so oh, that was a mistake on my part. Marche! Yeah, let's sit in this uh, forest. Are you gonna hide or whatever? No, you're just gonna sit there? Okay. Oh, do, I have to, do I have to press a button to form an ambush? Because I don't, I don't want this army attacking this army, that would be awkward. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, this is just gonna have to be it. Just gonna have to hope that things work out. And it's good that they decided to wreck this navy be or uh, naval place because uh, it's not super important. Uh, because that's not where my trade comes from, and the trade is where it's at. But yeah, we're making crazy cash now. Though I do believe a lot of that is uh, is trade. Yeah, we're making more money from trade than we are making from taxes so if they the British start messing around with my taxes that's when we're gonna have a bad time I do wonder do I even care to well let's not well we do want this because it gives you that repression yeah I want to fix all those uh, but I think the other money I want to spend on oh we just took this oh wow the enemy didn't even fight us for it brilliant and they're super happy as well okay cool 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 so that's a port now. Can we establish more trade as a result? Uh, with Persia, but they already said no. So for now we're not going to think too much about that. Let's get this navy though. Send that over here. And uh, then we'll probably go over to Trindagan, Trinidad and Tobago next time around. 
Okay, can we get the army out of this place? Yeah, the people are actually... Wow, these guys are super happy. Barely any resistance to foreign occupation. Brilliant. Let's get going then. To Trindag and Tobago we shall travel. Colonies we shall acquire. Yes. Ah, almost. Yeah, look at that. There's barely anyone chilling there. So yeah, we're going to be able to expand our colonial empire over in the Caribbean here quite nicely. I like it. Our position in uh, this area, though, is quite different. Uh, so now, of course, this guy decided to uh, send his tiny little army. If I attack it, I assume he's just going to run away. But there's nothing we can do about that. Oh, never mind. He's actually going to fight it out. Uh, let's just auto resolve. Victoire! Victoire! Yeah, we wrecked him. Good, good. Did take some losses though, but yeah, let's just keep sitting here. Get some replenishment done. And let's build up some more units over here. Well, one unit, I guess. Still, it's something. And then the next turn, we will see what the British are going to do with Paris. I do assume they're going to lay siege. If they actually lay siege, then things are going to be bad. Uh, but if they just attack me, uh, then I might be able to win. We'll see. So that navy is going to run away. Good, good, good. It's going to go to some place where it might be a bit more useful. All right, so they're just going to straight go for the attack. Uh, so let's fight this out. Strategy is simple. I am... Uh, Deploying on the other side of this little city, and oh my god, are we dying here? Yes, we're dying. Okay, up, oh, yep. Okay, a uh, new strategy, pay attention. Definitely something I should try and work on. But yeah, so the idea was we deploy behind the houses so that the artillery can't hurt us, but uh, in a moment of not so intelligentness, I decided to put some people in these houses. And they just got really, really killed. Let's see how long these guys can stay alive. Are they shooting? Yeah, they we're getting some shots off. Killing some derps, so, I mean, it, it's just Firelock. We need, like, a nickname for these guys. Because Firelock... Firelock Armed Citizenry is just not doing it. So we got some horse regiments coming around here. Let's spread these guys out, see if we can get some shots. So these horse units decided that charging my pikemen is uh, the best course of action. Just form a pike there. And these guys are off. Oh, fuck's sake, really? You're just gonna run away? There was plenty of you left. Idiots. Well, they're actually kind of smart because uh, standing in that house and getting killed is not very good. Okay. So this, yeah. Once again, we're seeing the, the classical AI strategy here of just sort of... I don't even know what I want to call this. But also, I just discovered there's a bunch of fences here. These can definitely be put to use. Yeah, our general is going to get in here to the, get into the fighting. And he died. Yeah. There, um, you can only be lucky so many times. Just throwing your general into the fire. So that was very bad. Very bad indeed. This is working out though. Although, I don't know exactly. They, they, they seem to be a bit confused about what direction they want to do that in. But, well... Yeah, but these guys are really coming in now, so we should probably actually deploy some dipshits. Alright, so I'm changing strategies here a bit. Uh, yeah, no, stop, 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 stop! So I should try and use this cover we have here. But they really just... Ah, oh, they're pikemen, that's why. Okay, well, that sucks. Yeah, so unless we can do some flanking, this is not gonna work. I guess we have these units to do that. Over here, uh, okay, so we were able to beat back those cavalry units, that's good. Let's get these guys over here. See if they can actually be a bit useful. Yeah, so I'm basically trying to use the buildings to um, nullify the enemy's numerical advantage here. Let's get some. Oh god, those poor pikemen. <laughs> and damn it, is this what you call being hidden and shit? That's not what being hidden looks like. Trust me. So you're charging? Yeah, you're just charging in because you can't be bothered. So that bit of line there is going to collapse. So let's get some more of this citizenry lined up. See if they can do some helping. Are you surrendering? 
No, you're not. The flag is the flag is just so darn white. It's difficult to know sometimes. All right. Let's see if we can flank these guys around here. That would be good. All right, so the the blob of the sentry is coming along here. Actually, if I could form up with like a pike wall here, that would be brilliant. Don't know if we can get there in time though. And they might just stand there and shoot at me rather than charge into the pike wall. Uh, but let's let's just give it a shot. No, please don't re No, don't redeploy to some idiot place. Got it. Oh, no, no pike wall then. Just charge. Alright. So the melee over here uh, could definitely be going better. Let's see if we can get in a bit of a better position. We're getting some shots off. Are you running away? You shouldn't be running away. Actually, get the plug bayonets. That might have been a bad idea, but we need to win this. What are you doing? We don't need to make a fancy formation. We just need to shoot and crap. So these guys have gotten awkwardly surrounded. Yeah, this is not, not going so well, not gonna lie. Definitely not optimal. And quite a lot of it is my fault. It's getting even, even a better position. Uh, okay, so you're just gonna run through here, and that makes my position sort of dumb, because what am I achieving? Oh god, please just fucking stand somewhat logically. Okay, so those are militia that just decided to charge in for some reason. Actually, you guys can go do that. But I don't want these guys to do that, so where's my... The leftovers of my general. Um, are those pikemen dead? No, there's no. They're just sort of dying. Well, they're not dead, but they are definitely dying. What are you guys even trying to do? Fucking charge! No! Oh god, we're gonna lose Paris! No! This is terrible. This is terrible. Well, then the quest becomes just make them lose as many idiots as possible. Who are you? Where are you going? Here's some weird split up unit. Well, go over here and do some shooting. Yeah, I definitely overestimated the power of my... Um, of my uh, rabble. Put in those pikes. And just... Kill as many as you can. Let's see if we can sneak the general around here. Oh god, they're just fucking routing en masse. Well, there's still this line. So, where are you going? And who are you exactly? Okay, good. Just keep them, keep them busy. And you... Oh, okay, no, that would be dumb. Uh, just go over there. Will probably be one of the last places of defense. Because they've taken that. And damn it, horsey, I told you to run. These guys are shooting their own dipshits in the back. Brilliant. Uh, who are you? Oh, yeah, those guys. That's good. Yeah, keep shooting. The angle is a bit unoptimal, though. Let's do that instead. Let's see if we can get these guys over there. Alright, so we're getting some nice shots. Okay, so you guys just decided to not run away. So, do not run away then. Actually, it would make sense to go over there. Just for that particular unit. This shuffling might not... I don't know. At this point, we're just trying to make them take as many losses as possible. Damn it! Yeah, the fact that we lost our general... Yeah, now they're chain routing. The fact that we lost our um, general that early, that was definitely a big part of this fiasco here. The fucking fall of Paris. Oh, no! So dumb. Kill them. Kill as many of them as possible. Yeah, you better break off. Ye shits. Alright. 
do there. Actually, no, that would be dumb. Let's go there. Alright, so yeah, those are militia. Got you guys still staying strong. Not really, you're about to rout. Let's see if we can get them over to these guys. Odds are they're just gonna break on the way, but uh, we need as many units as possible for our last stand on this little hill here. Are you walking? Run! Where's the little back? That could be good. Yeah, I could cover in that place. Actually, you go there. And you go there. And then the last stand by the fences will commence. So are you, pikeman? That's not good. Good thing for me that you're so awkwardly walking over there. Are you guys also shooting? Uh, well, you're loading, so you're doing something. Okay, please rob before they get to me. Please. Oh. Guys, I get to route. Let's see here. Uh, but you're probably gonna die now. But well, just go for it. Uh, you guys have come back from routing. So over here. Try anyways. See if we find someone else. Yeah, those guys are still fighting somehow. Right. Because those guys are running away, but these guys are coming. So now's the question. Well, they, they're sort of in range. Let's see if we can make them deploy in some not retarded way. Actually, you know, hide behind the walls and stuff. Would be kind of useful, you know. This is a horrible line of fire, though, but... It's just what we're gonna get. This whole thing in general is not very good. But it will have to do. The Valiant Last Stand. Yeah, those line it dipshits uh, are definitely gonna put some pain at us. Oh, please, load faster. You're like in their face. Shoot! I could probably cut some of this away, but this is kind of cool. The Last Stand of our dipshits. So these guys have just decided to not shoot. Can you? Ah, oh, I guess you can just you can't see them. That's awkward. Well, that forces me to just charge over the hill, and I really don't want to do that. And now we're taking nasty, nasty flanking shots. Okay, redeploy. And you guys now stand like that. Yeah, but they are getting kills though, so we actually have to cross the hill here to get line of sight. And if we will take massive losses in the doing of it, please at least get this unit around. Hurry, hurry! The militiamen, 9th Regiment Militia! Fire! Or not, or die. You know, that works too. <laughs> But no! They're running! They didn't even get to kill this guy. Yeah. Pro tip, don't lo don't lose your general. That's that that's bad. Yeah, let's just speed through this last phase here. Yeah, we are getting wrecked. Militia is nothing compared to line infantry. Well we did at least route that one unit, so that's good. Now of course these guys are standing completely dumb. In a dumb way. Let's make them stand a bit less dumb. See if we can get some last kills here. Oh, so where did my militia go? Uh, they went over here for some reason. Well, I know the reason. They routed fucking hell. Alright. Thin lines. As many shots as possible. The last volley. Or just run. Now, you know. You know, we, we all have different opinions about how things are. Alright, so the British just took Paris. Um, um, not good. <laughs> Yeah, and they still have quite the army remaining. Oh wow, you are just gonna run out and fight this guy, are you? Well, run away. Well, now it's gonna be interesting to see how much money we can, how much money we will have now that we lost our fucking capital. 
<laughs> I wonder what becomes our capital now. Probably Amsterdam. Alright, so we didn't go in minus, but that was not good. And we got ourselves an executed agent. Right, why are you in my land? Isn't that like a league or something? Uh, capital city lost. Our new capital is now in Amsterdam. As I did predict. Right, so our fleet has arrived in America. Good, good. Uh, let's get it down here. Let's see if we can get something done. That's not just massive failure. So, our income is crippled because all of our trade and stuff is now cancelled. Now, it's going to be some turns until we get a revolt. So even if these guys are going to try and attack me here, we need to start sending units uh, back over to the uh, to Paris. Trying to recapture that shit. I don't know if that's going to do the trick. Sort of, we'll just have to. Uh, yeah, let's get these guys back in in case the Hanoverians decide to attack us. I know they're friends of the British, so... That's probably why they're being a bit of a bitch. Uh, we cannot ally them because they're allies of the British. Right, so this army must to march south. And, uh, well, I don't really want to burn down my own clay. Uh, let's see if we can meet up with... Well, he ran all the way down there, did he? Okay, well, that's not good. Uh, you go there. Let's actually chill in Flanders so that they might not... Well, so that we can hope that they won't take that. Um... This is so bad, holy crap. <laughs> oh no. Always trade now. Yeah, it's cancelled basically. Um, and now it's we're only one turn away from having a revolt here, so that's also going to be good fun. Yeah, no, we're not going to spend our time building that. We need units, my good friend. Units aplenty. Uh, we run out of money. Oh, we're so close. So close to getting another unit. Oh well. Well, let's try and have a bit more success over in the New World. So, please just surrender. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll fix it. Yes, they're sort of unhappy. So, get into that place. And... Uh, see over here. So this guy's still healing. I wouldn't mind... Well, he's not that unhealed. Or... I don't know, uh, I still say we wait a bit. Wait for him to replenish. Get this little line infantry dude down here. Uh, uh, that's fine. Now, do we have no spice anymore? No, we still have this derp. So go... Let's see if we can get that general here killed. That would be helpful. Now, please, Paris, revolt in my favor. Revolt... In the glorious nationalism. Look at that fucking bullshit. Alright, and another turn. Let's see what the British do. They kick me out of that place. And they're gonna send... What? Are they tearing down my buildings? Building... Ah. Oh. Yes, they are indeed. Tearing down my shit. You assholes. Alright. Enemy raid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why would you even call that an enemy raid? It's technically their province now. Anyways, we got this army readied up, and uh, do I have my spy? I wouldn't mind infiltrating here. Please succeed. Yes. Rebellion. Yes. Uh, now let's see what they got. Yes, they have yet to be able to reinforce. Good. Because that means I should be able to start a siege here. And actually, now that I have this general here, uh, I would probably make sense to get this general back to Amsterdam. And then we'll deal with these rebels at some point. Not right now, can't be bothered. Now, what I want to do is get that army begin a siege. And we need some reinforcements. Marche! Marche! French is such a good language. Brilliant. Sometimes I am... Um, it's, it's a bit, bit of a shame that English became the official language of the world. And not French. 
Because French is pretty darn good sounding. But, uh, you know. That's just my opinion. Or actually, now that I think about it, maybe it's kind of... Well, I don't know. Maybe I would be good at pronouncing French words. Well, I would probably be pretty bad at it still, because I'm pretty bad at... And damn it, pirates. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at um, pronouncing English. Now, I don't know if, like, is... Would you say that English is just... Uh, inherently easier than French? Or is that not how that works? Okay, it seems like we have to just sit here and camp a bit. That's fine. Uh, I might send my navy out to do some fun though. I wouldn't mind uh, beating down these guys. These pirates messing up my trade. We need an actual unit though. Let's get this cav unit here. Probably wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> I keep doing that. Uh, that would probably won't be too bad. Uh, too bad of an addition to my army anyways. Right, so this army is now getting ready. Let's march down here and deal with these guys. And this place probably will just have to... We will probably just have to accept that it falls. Uh, it's not really defendable. We'll have to try and knock out some of these Native Americans and at that point start pushing into this place. Uh, I don't think there is and there I don't think there's much else we can do. Let's go for a battle here. So will they get to bring uh, the citizen militia or whatever you want to call it? I don't think they get to do that. Uh, regardless, let's fight some Native Americans. Here comes the classical suicidal cavalry charge and it's not like they're even charging, they're just sort of running in my range of fire, like this is the freaking general as well. Brilliant strategy. Well, yeah, the rest of the army is slowly going to make its appearance. I think I'm just gonna hill camp. It works, and I'm shooting my own units. Yeah, that's also sort of routine. Let's see if we can get some of those guys up there. I like the AS trying some sort of flanking maneuver here. So we got some Native American warriors coming through here. Let's send our own Native Americans to intercept. Well, let's put them like right behind. Form a square, or maybe that's not too clever. Well, let's get our general out of the way anyways. That's at least a start. Alright, charge. Retreat. Retreat. And we can put these guys to use S shooting up these dipshit. Yeah, let's get some guy over here to defend flank. Ooh, uh, ooh, very nice shot. Except that we just sort of slaughter our own general, but you know, let's face it. Our artillery crews, they don't care about that. And yeah, I completely neglected keeping an eye on this stuff. Oh well. Oh, well. Alright, so those guys are gonna run away. Good. Retreat behind our lines again. Let our shooter infantry do the job. It's a medicine and they have throwing axes? Surprisingly brutal stuff! Well, I guess you shouldn't be surprised that throwing axes are brutal, but... That they are so powerful. It's definitely something to be aware of. So, yeah, okay, so those guys are running good. On the line. Again. So these are tribes, or tribesmen. So we'll want to counter with our own. And we are shooting over our own dudes. That's kind of good, actually. Well, let's not take any risks. So yeah, the medicine men are getting torn to pieces. See if we can just intercept these guys here. And fucking run already. Yeah, that'll stop them. Oh, uh, well, not quite. 
These guys are bowmen. Okay, well, let's have a little skirmish here. Well, let's get these guys behind. Alright, so somehow the enemy cavalry has just fucked up and they're dead at this point. Well, not entirely dead. There's still this unit. Is this... yeah, Native American lances. Let's try and blast them. Ooh, those are nice kills. But this unit will probably die, but it's not a big deal. It can be replaced. It not be that difficult. Oh god, am I killing my own? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> uh, I'm indeed killing my own idiots. Alright, let's get these guys into the minute min min medicine men. Alright, hammer and anvil. So yeah, these guys would probably be much more useful over in this melee. Bowmen, tribal gunners. Okay, so that's why they are not charging in. That's not really what they do, is it? Ah, oh, that was close. Yeah, these guys should surrender. Oh man, that's a good... Oh, holy shit, six horses? Right, so yeah, this place is riding and we are still now... At this point, we're just shooting our own dudes, so stop that. Actually, let's pull back. Use our cavalry to chase down those who have sort of given up. So, yeah, the line of sight is like you know. It's difficult to see sometimes exactly how that line of sight is, and uh, it's super important in this game. Our light horses, good, good. Okay, so those guys just were surrendered. So yeah, this whole part of the battle is now over. And this is just, yeah, the bowmen. I think we're just gonna end it here, and I'll see you back on the campaign map. We have one. Now just begins the super annoying process of uh, chasing down units with skirmish mode. All right, so uh, we won quite convincingly. <laughs> convincingly. So everyone, they're just running away at this point, so we might even be able to get away with a... Oh, never mind, they're actually gonna... Actually gonna force us to siege them out. Well, I will... I will let them... I will let that happen then. Actually, I wonder if I could convince them to just surrender, or not surrender, but... Give me peace. Because I would be kind of okay with that at this point. Well, I would. Well, actually, let's wait. Let's wait until I at least have this territory because I want a territory so I can walk all the way to these English cities. But then I might go and siege this one and just threaten to take it and not actually take it. Um, I might be. I might get a bit greedy and, and actually take it, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Anyways, that'll be all the American stuff. Uh, so now we need to work on this stuff. Fix the artillery thing. Get a church going. Uh, no. Are we recruiting? No, we're not. Well, we should be. So recruit, recruit infantry, and then we're gonna have to go deal with these guys. Could potentially just do that this turn, actually. Which might not be too dumb. No, let's go do that. Uh, can we... No, let's, let's do this battle next episode. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.